I fish for snakeheads a lot and these are pretty much what I use to catch them. Over here we have a, I'm not quite sure what this is to be honest. <laughs> and then we have a little frog over here. Most of my lures are actually frogs. This one is another, I quite like this one. It's just that the hook's a little bit rusty because it's pretty old, but I've caught quite a few good sized fishes with this. And then we have a shark lure. Yep, this is a shark lure. This is a baby shark and I haven't caught any fish with this yet, but I will definitely use this in the future and see what I can catch. Next, we have an alien head. Oh, this is an alien head. Yep, check that out. But the only thing that I don't like about this is, look at that, there's a dent like over here. I was supposed to get a refund from the seller, but yeah, whatever. This is another kind of frog, I guess. Yeah, frog. All these are considered frogs. And I don't know, you can judge for yourself what do you want to call this. No idea what that is called. Then this is another kind of frog kind of thing. This is a smaller one. The hookup ratio isn't the greatest. Like you see, it doesn't really have the great hookup ratio. I haven't caught fish with that. I've caught fish with this. This is another kind of frog. See, there's some teeth marks of the fish. Yep, those are teeth marks. And so far this one's been pretty good. There's a white one as well, but I haven't used that one. I've just used this one. This is another small, tiny lure, which I've not caught fish with. I, I, it looks like I collect lures, right? But yeah, I don't really use all of them. I just use the ones that I actually feel comfortable using. I don't know. I just bought to fill up this tackle box. This has, I think, 36 slots just to make the tackle box look nice. So this, not quite sure what this is. You can judge for yourself. Oops, wrong place. So this is supposed to be, I don't know. By the way, all these are soft frogs. You may know these kind of soft frogs. These are the common ones with the tails that are string. But I like to use these, the one that has the spinner at the back. Yep, those are quite effective. If you guys want to try, go and, tr go and get one of these and give it a shot. I'm not sure if your bull-eyed snakeheads would eat these, but I don't know, snakeheads at my place, they eat these. So that's what I use. This is supposed to be a lizard. So this basically, there's a little weight over here. So this sings right to the bottom and when you retrieve it, it goes like this. It's like a little lizard thingy. This actually had two spinners at the back that I just ripped off. No idea why, I just didn't like them. But I still caught fish with this. This is, I would, I call it the Pac-Man frog, right? It looks like a Pac-Man frog. It's pretty cool, but the, it's quite hard. So when a fish bites down, I actually haven't caught a fish with this, but I would imagine when a fish bites down, it's quite hard to get the fish hooked, you see? Yeah, it's quite darn hard. And over here, this one is just a single hook. Most of these are double hooks. As you can see, two hooks, two hooks, two hooks. This is just a single hook. But the thing about this one is, once the fish bites, all the air comes out, like, see? And then, <laughs> you gotta wait for the air to go back in, which takes quite a while. This is the same as this. Then here, this is an alligator. This is a crocodile. A crocodile, yeah, I think it's more like crocodile because the teeth are pointing out. So this is a crocodile lure. Haven't caught fish with this either, but I have tried it and the action isn't too bad. Over here, we have some purple thingy. You know, it's gonna take quite a while for me to go through all this, so bear with me. This is the same as that. You know, I haven't caught fish with these either. Oh, this. It's one that I've caught a lot of fish with. This is the, call it the ant lure. Yeah, I don't know, does it look like an ant to you? No idea, it doesn't look like an ant to me, but if it works, it works. <laughs> and then this is a ladybird. Yeah, my friend caught fish with this, but I haven't, so I have pretty high confidence with this, although I haven't caught fish, but I've seen my friend catch fish, so it should work. This is a similar one like this one, the one that I just showed you. It has a weight at the bottom, so when you retrieve it, it goes like, like that. Very vigorous action. This is the same as, where was it? This one, one of my favorite ones, but this one is red. And then, oh, this one, I've got fish with this. But this is a different material. Sounds like a frog itself. <laughs> but it's a different material of rubber. And this, the small snake heads love it. I have not tried this one, but this one's pretty cute. Look at that. Hookup ratio, hook is pretty small, but I think it should do. Haven't tried this out, don't even know how the action is. This is a really small one for tiny snake heads. This is supposed to be a cicada, I think. Looks like a cicada. Not sure, but fishes here, some of them eat cicada. I've even seen fishes over here that eat bats. Imagine that. And I have a bat lure over here. So this basically is top water and it goes like on top of the water, like a cicada trying to escape. And then over here, 
this is another frog kind of thing. I don't know. What do you want to call it? A frog? Yeah. Oh, this one. <laughs> Pikachu! I choose you! So this is my Pikachu lure. I've not used it because this is a limited edition lure. And I don't want to lose it. If I get snagged and my line snaps, I would be heartbroken. So this is just to stay here and chill with the others in the box. So this is the same as this. This fishes have blown up on this lure, but I haven't actually had a hookup. So yeah, this is a smaller version of the ant lure, which is over here. Smaller ant lure. This one. My friend caught fish with this, but I haven't. So I have some confidence, but I don't. I just don't like the looks of it. Look at that. Oh, this one. This one is freaking massive. And then the action, the swimming action isn't the greatest, but it's just to add to the decoration, I guess. And this last one is a turtle. Yes, this is a tortoise. Tortoise or turtle? I think it looks more like a tortoise. Yeah, a tortoise lure. Once again, my friend caught quite a few very big fishes with this. Very big snake hits. But I haven't because I'm usually busy using like this lure and this lure. So I haven't really had a chance to use this. Although I usually want to use it every time I go fishing. But I think back that I caught fish with that. So yeah, I end up using that again. And over here, this tackle box is a little bit different because these will house my my lures that are with the string legs. So this are a different one. These are the more common frog lures. So I don't want to go through all of them, but these, I got them from China. Each of these are like $1. Yep, $1. Very, very cheap. Each of those is probably like $4, $3 to $4, but this is freaking $1. So I bought a lot just to stock up. So these are basically, like I mentioned, just the ones with the string legs. So I use these quite often as well. If I go to places that have a lot of let's say fallen trees or branches I will use this because I couldn't afford to lose these by snagging them on the tree so I use this and well over here we have oh this one looks pretty cool I'm not sure what this is considered is it like a frog it's not a frog it's definitely not a frog but yeah haven't used this as well oh it's wet ew freaking wet what oh that's nasty man so yeah this is the, the bat that I showed you it goes in the water like this makes a very loud noise it Triggers reaction strikes. And then over here we have a dancing frog. This is actually a hard bait. It's made of wood, I believe. So this is to catch giant snake heads. I haven't actually caught one, but I have had bites on this. It's like when a fish bit, I strike and it hooked on the fish for quite a while. But then when I want to take it out, it got off the hook. Super sad. I lost the fish. So yeah, that is pretty much all of my lures. I actually have hard baits like plastic fish crankbaits. Do you want to see that? I think this video is really long, but yeah, we'll go through them real, real quick. All right, so these are my crankbaits, my poppers, my spook baits, and yeah, so over here, I'm not going to go through every single one of them, just... Okay, so this is... I'm not quite sure what this is called. And then I've got a cricket lure over here. Cricket lure. This is my latest. This is a Rapala goldfish. And then we have another, like a peacock bass color. This is by Offmac. Yeah, Offmac is a peacock bass lure. This is a Rapala goldfish. This is not cheap. This was like, I don't know, $12 or something. Not cheap at all. And then we have, uh, just, just go through. This is Kyoto popper. Then we have another small popper over here. Some lipless crankbaits, lipped crankbaits. We have this, we have a spook book bait and yeah that's pretty much it i don't want to go through all of this one by one because yeah this video is too long i'm pretty sure a lot of people already clicked off so yeah for those who have stayed till now i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did thumbs it up if you didn't thumbs it down new to this channel subscribe hit that notification bell and yeah i'll see you in the next video peace